welcome back to a new reading vlog so it is monday morning right now i just packed some orders and yesterday on sunday i had such a lovely sunday like it was quite productive because i edited an entire video my um reading two hours every day for a week i really liked how that video turned out so if you haven't checked it out you can check it out up there Oh my god, how do I still forget where the eye thing is? I think it's there. Oh well. And I'm also reading two new books. I'm listening to the third book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. I've had this book for a while now and I read the first two a few years ago and enjoyed them so much but I never really picked up the other three. Look how amazing this book is. It's so freaking floppy but I'm listening to the audiobook because I saw that the audiobook was on script and I they're really short as well, they're like five hours every audiobook. So I'm listening to the third one. So The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a very fun sci-fi series that follows a guy named Arthur Dent as well as a guy named Ford Prefect. And it takes place in space. It is incredibly bizarre. It is super funny. It's really dry humor, so you have to like that. But I personally really like this type of humor. It is just incredibly weird, but very funny. So if you're looking for a quick sci-fi series, this is definitely the one for you. It doesn't make any sense, but it's really fun. So I'm listening to the third one. I only have like an hour left because it is super quick. And I'm also reading a physical book. I'm reading The Woman Destroyed, written by Simone de Beauvoir. Simone de Beauvoir. This is quite dark. It's better. I've never read anything by Simone de Beauvoir before, so I thought I would pick up this one. This is actually a short story collection of three short stories, and they're all about women who are dealing with just like struggles in their lives with men, mostly. It says one of them is about a woman who attempts to piece together the remnants of her former life after her husband confesses to an affair with a younger woman. Then we have one in which a rich and spoiled woman is consumed with bitterness and loneliness after her son and husband have left home. And then the last one is about a scholar who faces the, hard, the harsh rejection of her latest academic work and the waning love of a son, more interested in his young wife and her worldly values. It is quite a famous one. I'm very interested. I've only read like... 13 pages <laughs> yesterday before I went to bed. So I didn't read that much, but I'm very intrigued and I will keep you updated on this one as well. I'm going to be taking this one with me on the train today because I have to work in the Swan Market store in The Hague. And the Swan Market stores are physical stores where I sell my products, which is really cool. But in return, I have to work there twice a month. So today is one of those days. I will show you a little bit of my, you know, my products there and I'm excited because the shops are finally open again after like over a month of lockdown they're finally open again so people can come over again and shop and buy products from small business owners which is really really nice It is Tuesday evening. I've had a mega productive day. Oh my goodness, I did so much work and it feels very good because I just had lots of little things to do. So I made a very long to-do list and I did everything. I took a lot of photos of new products that are coming to my shop very soon. I'm so excited. This Saturday, so actually yesterday, yes. By the time this video is live, which will be on Sunday. So yesterday, my shop update happened. I'm going to be showing you the products tomorrow because I, they're like scattered around my house right now. I just want to do a quick reading update and then I'm going to make some dinner. But tomorrow I will show you all the new products. Spoiler alert, five new washi tapes as well as some dark academia items. I'm very excited. So first reading update is that I finished the third book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. 
this was just very fun. It wasn't anything special as in like it was a very deep story or something. It was just incredibly enjoyable. I've decided to give it three out of five stars. I love the fact that Martin Freeman narrates the audiobook. He's absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to be listening to the next audiobook in this series as well. And I'm excited. It's a super quick read. So finish that one. Then I also read a bit more from The Woman Destroyed. I've only read it until page 26. I only read a little bit on the metro to work and then when I got back in the evening I was just super tired so I didn't read anything. But just now I did yoga. I've been doing the yoga with Adrian challenge, a 30 day challenge. I've only missed a couple of days but I'm still very proud of myself. But right now I'm going to have a very cozy evening. I'm going to just try read a bit from The Woman Destroyed and I'm going to make myself a burger. I still have this veggie burger and I'm going to try to make it into a lovely big hamburger with avocado as well and some cheese and some lettuce and tomato and cucumber and some like potatoes i'm excited let's do some cooking oh well i'm just going to show you the final result because when i'm filming during cooking that's very stressful because then i have to turn the camera on and then i have to make sure that something doesn't burn and then i have to change the camera angle and then it's just my like my mind can't handle it so i will show you the finished result oh yeah look at this burger i toasted the bun i made some burger sauce this is the fake beet burger then i have some um tomatoes lettuce cucumber and then some more sauce underneath as well as some avocado oh my goodness i'm excited to eat this oh my god it's been so long since i had such a big burger oh my goodness this fake meat is amazing Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> oh my god, I haven't spoken yet today. So I promised you to show you all the products that are currently in my shop right now. They're all new products. First of all, I have like a Dark Academia-ish collection with three Dark Academia inspired um, like products. The first one is this tote bag with this fine line art illustration. I drew this one just randomly on an evening. I just started drawing a bit and then I thought, this actually looks pretty cool. So I decided to turn it into a tote bag and it just has like books and all these little leaves and then a skull and a, a crow, sort of. <laughs> I don't really know what that, or like a raven, whatever. Um, some candles and a moth and just, I really like it. I'm also currently um, coloring this one and I plan on doing a different product with that in the future. I will show you a little, a little preview. So I'm still working on it, but I'm going to be... Can you see? Oh, that is really bright. Sort of. Well, that's just a little sneak preview. And I decided to also turn that illustration into a print. This is a square print and it's really thick quality. So the, the paper is like really thick and it's just the same illustration as well as this cute sticker. Yay, and this one is on glossy paper and it has this really um, handy border so you can easily stick it or like easily take off the backing so this is like the dark academia ish and then i also designed five new washi tapes which is so exciting so i have them all here but i will show you on a piece of paper i put all of them on here so it's a bit easier to see so these are the five new washi tapes also a dark academia ish washi tape with books and a skull and some plants and wine and again a raven then we have this one with some boobs on there because i thought self-love all breasts are beautiful so we have lots of different shapes and sizes and colors the only thing is is that unfortunately this one turned out a lot pinker than i wanted to and it's just incredibly pink so this one will be a little bit cheaper because i'm just not 100 percent satisfied but it's still like a perfectly fine washi tape and you can still definitely see everything so we've got many different shapes and sizes which are all gorgeous then we have this 
very fun like flower doodle um, which is flowers and doodles and line art as well and some butterflies then we have this one with a big stack of books this is inspired by my bookmark with a stack of books but this one will also be a little bit cheaper than the other washi tapes because as you may be no able to tell the books aren't exactly centered so yes unfortunately that is the case and then um a wavy rainbow! I just love that one. This one turned out really well. I'm very happy with this. But yeah, unfortunately, two of them didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted it. But that is just a risk with, you know, getting products made at a company where you can't really check it right there and then. That's just the way it is. But these two, or like two of them will be a little bit cheaper than the other washi tapes, but I'm still very happy with them. And these will be, or like these are in my shop right now. These are the new products. I'm already working on new products for my next shop update. I'm feeling very inspired. Oh, and also, I don't know if this will be sold out already, but my grandma, she's very into crochet and she made me a bag. I will grab it. Like a couple of months ago, she made me a crochet bag and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So she made a different crochet bag. This one is completely unique and handmade. And this one is available in my Etsy shop. So I don't know by the time that you're watching this video if it's still available, um, but of course it's completely handmade so it's a little bit more expensive than my other products but she was like you can sell this in your shop to a viewer of yours so if any of you would like to buy this like you will check it you have to check it out in my Etsy shop I will link it um but this is just completely handmade and made with lots of love and it's so cool my mum for my grandma for Christmas my mum got her these labels that say ma like made or like gehaakt and haken is crochet in Dutch so it is crocheted door Oma Inga and my grandma is called Inga, Oma Inga. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. So she can put these in the things that she makes because she makes blankets and all of these bags. She made these bags for all of the women in my family for Christmas as well. So she's just incredibly talented and she made one of these bags for one of you. But these are all the new products that are currently in my shop. Definitely check out the link down below in my description and in my description there is always a cheeky discount code so if you came from youtube you can use that discount code that is that for now i don't really have many reading updates although i re did read quite a bit more from the woman is story i'm currently on page 50. um so read a bit more yesterday evening and that is that i'm going to be doing lots of work right now and i will see you probably tonight <laughs> It is super windy outside, so my hair is a mess. But as you can see, I'm not in my own home because I am cat-sitting a cat of some friends, Sarah, right over there. But they're gone for the weekend, so I'm always just watching the house, I'm watching the cat. So I'm just going to be relaxing here this weekend. I'm very excited. It always feels like a little holiday for me as well because I can just relax here and not really think about work too much. However, my shop update is tonight, so I'm still going to like use my laptop and make sure that everything runs smoothly with like updating the listings. But 
I am still reading The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir, but I have finished the fourth book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I keep wanting to say The Guardian's Guide of the Galaxy, but The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the fourth book. I didn't really enjoy this one, to be honest. I think I'm going to give it two, maybe two and a half out of five stars. I really just wasn't interested in the story. It wasn't, it was quite different from the rest of the books because in the other books, it's more about like adventure, space travel. And this was back on Earth. And it was just basically a love story with some bizarre things, like weird things here and there. It's just, this book was all over the place basically. And I just didn't really enjoy it. So that wasn't a big success. But I will listen to the fifth one as well because I want to finish a series again. It's been so long since I last finished a book series. So I'm going to just listen to the fifth one as well. Probably this weekend or just, you know, whenever. I'm also going to be ordering pizza, I think, tonight. I'm really craving pizza and I haven't had pizza in a very long time. But that is it, actually. Don't really have that many updates. Also, my battery is empty. So, I will give you a last reading update tomorrow on Sunday. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to start a new reading challenge. Very exciting. Spoiler alert, I'm going to swap my screen time for reading time. Fingers crossed if I can do it. Sunday everyone it is 9 15 and I just went on a walk already I woke up super early and I thought I'm just gonna get out of bed because I've you know I slept well and I'm feeling very awake so I just went on a very cozy morning walk it was like 25 minutes and the only people I saw were just people like walking their dogs there were hardly any cars it was very quiet and peaceful and before that I had some breakfast and I finished the first story in one of these three short stories in The Woman Destroyed. I really enjoyed it. I'm very curious to find out about the other two stories and just Simone de Beauvoir's you know fiction IDs. That means that in this vlog I finished two audiobooks as well as the first story in this one but I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm just gonna have a very cozy Sunday. I'm going to start filming for a different video, a new reading challenge for next week and I'm also going to be just doing all of the addresses for the orders that I got for my shop update yesterday. So all of the new products are now live. Definitely check out the link in my description and there's a discount code. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a little sun emoji because it's very sunny outside. It is definitely the perfect Sunday. It's, even though it's like really cold, I think I might go and actually sit outside in the garden just with my coat on and just a hat because I don't have like a balcony or a garden, you know, in my own apartment. So it's a more, it's like more effort to go outside. <laughs> but here, there is a garden. So even though it's cold, I can still like snuggle up and get a cup of tea and just sit outside because the fresh air is just so lovely. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I really hope to see you in my next one.